So let's dive in and talk about a couple of these people. Let's stop with Bobby, Her Bobby Herrera. Um, so the, if you want to have tears, it's chapter two, it's number 32 in the book. Oh my goodness, what a tearjerker story, but what a powerful message. So what did you learn from Bobby? This one might be a little longer. I'll be mindful to keep my story short. Bobby Herrera wrote a book that I think is a beautiful masterpiece. It's called The Gift of Struggle. Don't go by Master Mentors. Go by Bobby's book called The Gift of Struggle. It's a very short book. You can read it in an hour or less. In essence, Bobby, like I mentioned when I opened, was uh, born in Mexico. His family immigrated to America, and he was Texan. He became a very successful entrepreneur. But he shares a story how in high school, he and his brother played high school football. And every Friday night when the high school football team would take the bus after they won or lost, they would stop at a restaurant and the entire team would get off the bus and go into the restaurant and eat. Except for Bobby and his brother, because I believe there were nine kids in the Herrera family and there wasn't money for both football cleats and dinner on Friday night. Now, they weren't going to Roos Chris. My sense is they were going to the Sizzler, but still there was no money for that. So one particular night, one of the teammates' fathers, a very successful, wealthy businessman, reboarded the bus and walked back. And I can't share the story without getting emotional. No, I can't back listen to, to the bus. I know, walked back to the back of the bus and said to Bobby and his high school brother, I'd like for you to be my guest at dinner tonight. I'm going to pay. No one needs to know. No one will know. In exchange, I want you to someday in the future pay this forward. It was the sizzler. It was $6. And Bobby said it was the first time ever in his life that he felt seen by someone else. Bobby couldn't see tomorrow in front of him. 11th grade, he never felt seen by anyone. He goes on to have this amazing career, becomes a veteran in the Army, opens a successful business. And 30 years later, Bobby Herrera writes the book, The Gift of Struggle. He finds this gentleman named Harold Teague. 30 years later, he invites him to come to his book launch. Harold flies in. Everyone gives him a standing ovation. Harold flies back home and calls him up the next day and says, basically, I remember that day in the bus. I had no idea the impact that had on you. It just is the insight. And you and I are both emotional listening to this because you never know the power you have to make someone else feel seen. It might be you putting your hand on their shoulder and complimenting them on how hard they work or talking about how much you appreciate their dedication to their family. Or the fact that they're maybe, like to me, they're overcoming a stutter. I have a lifelong stutter. It's a very debilitating speech impediment that has dogged me my entire life. And I had someone once in college who said to me, you know, Scott, you're a really good communicator, which was a joke because I'm a lifelong stutterer, speech therapist and speech pathology and braces four times and headgears and retainers, you name it. You never know when you could make someone else feel seen. And that's the essence of the story by Bobby Herrera's book, The Gift of Struggle. 